Oh my heavens to Betsy. <gasps> what? And I know some of you might be thinking, oh, she's just doing a biased review. But, like, Tati aside, if this was just anybody's palette. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. I cannot believe I'm sitting down and filming this video. Honestly, pinch me, I'm dreaming. This is surreal. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you would have seen that I received the Tati Beauty PR box. I am so excited. I'm so thrilled about this. We're gonna be trying out this eyeshadow palette and I literally can't contain my excitement. I actually received this a couple days ago and it's been taking everything in me not to swatch all the colors, especially the glittery shades, but I wanted to save it for a video. So here we are. You know, to be honest, I've been on the fence on like when to upload this video because Tati said she's uploading her in-depth video on this palette and on the formula on Friday, which is the launch day. And normally I love to watch those videos all the way through before reviewing a product or talking about a product because I just like to be the most informed possible. But on the other hand, I feel like it could also be really helpful for you to see the palette in action before tomorrow, which is the launch day. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna be swatching and reviewing the palette. I'm also gonna be creating a look with it and we're gonna do a wear test as well. If you're not subscribed to Tati, I'm sure most of you guys are, but if you're not, I will have her channel linked down below. And as soon as the video goes live, be sure to watch that because I'm really excited about hearing about the behind the scenes and the formulation and all that stuff. So I'm gonna share with you the information that I have right now and I'm also just gonna go off of like my first impressions on the formula and the texture and the wear of the formula of these eyeshadows. So I hope you guys are excited. I literally can't contain myself. I'm giddy over this. So let's just get right into it. Again, here is the PR package. I absolutely love this. It looks like a book, which is amazing. I already actually had it sitting on my vanity display over there and it looks so pretty next to a bunch of my other palettes and products. Products. Inside it says, make up believe beautiful is your story to tell. And then you guys, I literally lost my mind over this handwritten note. How sweet is that? And also I can't imagine how badly her hand cramped as she was writing all those notes for the PR packages. Seriously, such a sweet and personal touch to the PR box. I love this. I'm gonna set this aside so I don't get it dirty because I wanna keep it forever. All right, you guys, here is the front of the palette. You have a really nice soft touch feel. The letters that say Tati Beauty are in this gorgeous metallic bronze and they're raised from the palette. On the side of the palette, you also see Tati Beauty written here. And then on the bottom of the palette, it says volume one. It keeps going out of focus. Hello, there we go. Oh, hopefully you can see that. I don't know about you guys, but I was so shocked when I saw this. I originally saw the first photo of this. I opened my Instagram and I saw that Trend Mood had posted about Tati Beauty and I was like, no say it isn't so. So I immediately went over to the Instagram page and then I watched Tati's video that she had posted on her channel. This came out of nowhere and it just took over my whole soul. I'm so excited about this palette. This palette is officially called Textured Neutrals Volume One. Let's go ahead and look inside. You get a little protective sheet right here, which is great, especially since there's such a huge mirror in here, which I'll show you guys in a second. But here is what the palette looks like. Isn't this so stunning. Can you guess which row I'm most excited about? Yes, of course, the glitters. You guys probably already know how much I love glitters. I literally wear glitter on my eyes every single day. Even during the daytime, I don't even care. I love to be that glam. So I'm so excited to dip into those. I'm trying to get it in focus for you. It's such a massive mirror. It's such good quality. The palette has a really nice weight to it as well. Before I do swatches, I wanted to insert a video that I took earlier today of the Fresh Palette in Sunlight so that you guys can see a really true representation of the coloring and also how beautiful and sparkly it is in the sunshine. So I really enjoyed filming that video, I don't know. I just felt like the palette in the sun was so beautiful. So before we get to swatching, I'm just gonna read you some info that I do have on this. This is going to be launching on October 25th, 2019, so it's Friday or tomorrow if you're watching this on the day I upload. It'll be launching at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. This is cruelty-free, paraben-free. It has a vegan formula. It's made in the USA. And one of the coolest things about this palette is the fact that there's six tones with four finishes. I think that's such a unique approach to an eyeshadow palette. So as you can see, each shade does not have its own name. All that's written on the side are the finishes and then underneath on the bottom row, the tones are written. So I think that's such a cool way to do an eyeshadow palette. I love the layout, I love the concept. Um, there will also be worldwide shipping. As you can see, there are 24 shades and this will be retailing for $48, which I feel like is so fair for how big this palette is, how big the pan sizes are, and for all of these beautiful textures, as well as the mirror. So yeah, that's all the basic info that I have on it. Let's get to swatching. I've been dying to dip into these shades. I think I'm gonna swatch by 
finish instead of by the tone. I just feel like that might be a little bit more helpful. So I'm just gonna start by swatching the mattes. You guys, I am not a pro at swatching, so sorry if these look a little bit not cohesive, if that's a word. <laughs> so again, this is the matte formula. We have memory, ritual, story, soothe, aura, and poet. These were really buttery when I was applying them. I'm super excited to try these out on the eyes, obviously. All right, next I'm gonna swatch this row right here, which is the sequin formula. Oh, look at that. That is so pretty. <gasps> I should have done that like while I showed you. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm so excited. Is this more helpful for you guys to show you like in action the swatches? Maybe so? Oh my heavens to Betsy. You're joking. These are so pretty. Oh. What? This is kind of fun swatching it before putting it on the eyes because I feel like it's gonna help me get an idea of the look I wanna create. Oh, stop. Are you joking me? This one, this last one in the shade Poet. Uh, okay. Yeah, I'm losing my mind over that. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys up close. Here is the sequin row. Are you kidding me? Look at how beautiful this is. So again, we have memory, ritual, story, soothe, aura, and poet. Oh my gosh. I can't wait to put all these on my eyes. Okay, the next finish that we are going to be swatching is from this row right here. This is the metallic formula, and I'm very excited about this. All right, let's go ahead and swatch the first one. I'll do the same thing. Hopefully this was in focus. Oh, oh my word. Sorry about all my weird singing. <laughs> I'm just like so giddy about all of these colors. Okay, then we have the bronze. Shut the front door, are you joking? Oh, you guys, I really hope that the camera is picking up how gorgeous these are. Oh my heavens. Ooh, that's cool. This one's almost like a duochrome. I'm gonna put a bit more on so you can really see the duochrome finish. Ooh, it's got like a peach undertone with a gorgeous gold shift. I'm obsessed with that one. This is fun. Okay, we're gonna do the fourth color. Oh my heavens. Oh, look at that. That one's more of like a true gold. We have two more colors. Here's the fifth shade. Ooh, that is beautiful. That'd be perfect for like an inner corner highlight or a brow bone highlight. That's pretty. And last but not least, we have the purple metallic. Oh my gosh. Did you guys see that? Did you see that? I'm like really hyped about this palette if you can't tell. <laughs> All right, here they are all together. Again, these are the metallic formula and we have memory, ritual, story, soothe, aura, and poet. I'm really into all the colors in the poet row. I can't say that, poet row. And also an aura. I don't know, I'm really excited about all of these. All right, we have one last row to swatch. I saved the best for last. I have been dying to try these out. Okay, this is the glitter row. Just making sure my arm is dry. Whew, I'm so excited. I don't really know how much, oh, that was kind of a lot. Oh, stop it. Okay, let's do this. Are you joking me? Oh my gosh, you guys. Okay, sorry if I just hurt your ears. Look at that. I didn't add any more product. I'm just kind of spreading it out. Here is the second shade. Oh, you guys, this glitter formula, I'm a glitter freak and I have never seen a formula like this. I've seen pressed glitters before, obviously, but not ones that you can swatch like this. I hope you're witnessing this live with me. Oh, I didn't get enough glitter for that one. The way it blends is almost like a regular metallic formula. Holy moly. We've got the fourth color. Oh, look at this. Oh my gosh, do you see how much it sparkles? All right, I'm gonna go ahead and wipe my fingers. And we have two more. I think I'm the most excited about these last two colors. Oof, this one, this one matches my sweater. I might use this one today. I'm gonna swatch it right here. Oh my word. Oh, this one's amazing. This one's like multi-dimensional. It has like blue and purple and green and yellow. It's so pretty. I don't know if it's really catching on camera, especially not from this far away. I'm definitely probably gonna wear that one today. And I will try to do like an up close situation, you know, so you guys can hopefully see the dimension on that. All right, here's the last glitter shade. Oh my gosh. These 
feel amazing. I obviously can't wait to put them on my eyes and we'll do a wear test and everything. But there you have it. There's the glitter row. Are you actually kidding me? Look at this. So again, this is obviously the glitter finish and we have memory, ritual, story, soothe, aura, and poet. I cannot wait to put this on my eyes. That's what we're gonna do next. Let me try to get all this glitter off my arm. <laughs> Everything swatched really beautifully. Obviously swatches are not everything. The way it applies on the eyes are what matters most. So that's what we're gonna be doing next. But honestly, just by swatching, I'm truly super excited to see Tati's video about the formulation of these because the glitters especially are super unique and obviously she would be able to explain it way better than I could because she created it. So I'm really looking forward to that video. I'm gonna go ahead and prep my eyelids with the NARS Tinted Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base. I use the shade light. This is something that I'm very familiar with and I use it every single day with every single eyeshadow. I'm just blending that out with a concealer brush and then I'm gonna tap everything into the skin with my finger. Okay, there are so many different looks that I could create with this. For this video, since it's more of a review, I'm just gonna obviously only be able to create one look. If you guys want to and if you end up picking this up, would you let me know in the comments if you would wanna see more looks using this because I do typically do that on my channel. I don't always use one palette just once. I try to use it several times because, you know, nobody buys an eyeshadow palette just to use it once. So if you guys wanna see like multiple looks using this, let me know. But I'm just gonna reach for the colors that I'm initially drawn to which for me are these two rows right here. I feel like that's what I'm mostly gonna be using. I'm gonna start off with this shade right here called Soothe in the matte formula. I just feel like this could possibly be a really nice transition shade. So I'm just gonna take a bit of that on my brush and I'm gonna start to work this into the crease and a little bit above as our transition shade. It's blending out really nicely. And I'm just continuing to work that into the crease and a little bit above. I don't really like to dip back into the pan too much when I'm doing a transition shade. Instead, I just like to kind of work the product that's on the brush all over the eye so that I get a nice diffused kind of color. I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing to the other eye. So now I'm dipping back into that same shade and I'm just kind of layering up a little bit more directly in the crease just to kind of deepen that up a little bit and to create a bit more dimension. All right, next I'm gonna take the matte shade in Poet. I'm gonna tap off the extra. There's quite a bit that came off on the brush. And I'm gonna to start to press this on the outer corner. And then once there's a bit less product on the brush, I'm just gonna to start to buff it into the lash line here and then also up into the crease slightly. Oh my gosh, that is like beautiful and so pigmented. Again, I'm just taking my time here at blending because I want this makeup look to look really soft. So I didn't dip back into the pan yet. I'm just using what's left on the brush to really just diffuse that outward. Wow, a little bit of that goes a very long way and it just continues to blend, which is something that I personally look for in an eyeshadow formula. All right, I just dipped back into the pan and now I'm just deepening things up a little bit and I'm keeping it more precise this time on that outer corner and into the crease. All right, I'm just gonna do the same thing on this eye. This color is stunning. I actually don't think I own an eyeshadow that looks like this. I love how there's a row of purples in this textured neutrals palette because everyone's neutrals looks different, you know? Some people's everyday look might be something really soft and ethereal while others might consider a gray smoky eye to be something that's their go-to and something neutral. I personally have been really into purpley colors, so this is really fun to have a little bit of color in this palette. And I am taking a bit of that, I'm just taking what's left on the brush, and I'm dusting it into this inner crease area. But see how since there's less on the brush, it kind of creates more of an ombre effect where it's lighter here and then we have a little bit more dimension and depth on the outer corner. I love that, I love how things are blending. So far so good, my friends. I'm just taking the brush that we first used in the crease and transition with the other matte shade and I'm just blending it a little bit higher. Now that I've applied the color, I feel like the color can go up a little bit closer to my brow than I initially had it. Okay, we have to play with the sequin shade. This one right here, it has a purple base with like blue duochrome glitter. It has like a pink and blue shift. I'm just gonna take this on my finger and I'm going to apply it on this outer portion right here. I'm just gonna press that on the lid. Ooh, that is so pretty. I feel like the sequin formula is a great formula for the occasions where you want a little bit of glitz on the eyes, but maybe you don't want full on glitter. It's more of like a wearable glitter, you know, for every day even, just to have a bit of sparkle instead of a full on, you know, disco ball on your eye, which is what I go for personally, but most people have school and work. And so I feel like this shade would be perfect for that situation. Well, 
That's so nice. I'm really wanting to play with all the formulas on the eyes. So I'm gonna go into this one next. This is the metallic shade of the same row, Poet. And I'm just gonna use my finger again to apply that on the inner portion of the lid. Oof, look how pretty. Oh my gosh, up close, this also has a little bit of a blue and pink shift to it. I don't know if you can really see that on camera. Maybe you can. It's beautiful. What a pretty shade, I love that one. I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. I'm just gonna take that brush that we were using with the matte formula and again, I didn't add any more product. I'm just wanting to make sure that all the edges are blended since I did use my finger to apply those shades. I could totally leave the eye look like this, but of course, you guys know I'm dying to use the glitters. I'm gonna start off with the Poet shade, which is a gorgeous purple. I'm just gonna take a bit of that and I'm gonna apply this one on the outer portion of the eye. I'm just gonna press this on. Oh my God. Are you joking? Oh my gosh, it's sticking to the lid so beautifully. Do you guys see how insanely glittery that is? Oh, okay, I'm gonna blend it into the center of the lid a little bit. I do wanna use that lighter shade from the Aura row on the inner portion, so I'm just gonna keep it right there on the outer portion of the lid. Let's go ahead and do the same thing on this eye. Oh my gosh. Do you guys see how it's catching the light? If you are somebody who loves glitters on the eyes as much as I do, you will lose your mind over this. This is every glamorous glitter lover's dream. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and clean off my finger. Okay, for the inner portion, I wanted to use Aura, which is that multi-dimensional glitter. I just, I don't know, I'm really gravitated toward this shade as well in the palette. And with this one, I'm going to layer that on like the inner portion. <gasps> right on top of the purple, and we're gonna kind of create a gradient with a glitter. Oh my gosh. Oh, this one's like a birthday party. Oh, this one is fun. Like honestly, I can think of so many different occasions for this palette. Like look, you've got Valentine's Day, you have birthday, you've got your summer vacation, you have Halloween, you've got Thanksgiving and New Year's, boom. And then you can wear all of them for Christmas or something like that. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna do the same thing on this eye. The cool thing is, if you want just a little bit of glitter, you can just tap it and you have a little hint. I'm obviously going full on for today's video, so I'm like layering it up and making it a little bit more opaque. But that's really cool about this formula, is you can really build it up if you want to, or you can just have like a little hint of glitter, just depending on how much you apply. Well, I've never been happier. This is so sparkly, it is amazing. And I know some of you might be thinking, oh, she's just doing a biased review because she likes Tati. Okay, first of all, yes, I love Tati, but honest to Pete, like Tati aside, if this was just anybody's palette, this is wildly amazing. But of course, leave it to Tati to create something this amazing. Holy moly. Okay, now that we have everything kind of starting to form on the eyes, I'm actually gonna take a bit of the dark brown right here called Ritual. And again, this is the matte formula. And I'm gonna take that on a smaller brush and I'm just gonna layer that on the outer corner. I feel like once we had the glitter on, I just want a little bit of depth, but I don't want black yet. I feel like it needs to be a little bit softer than a black, so I felt like this dark brown would kind of do the trick. Okay, yeah, I really like that. I'm gonna do the same thing on this eye. Now, I don't know if Tati recommends using a glitter glue with these glitters. So far, they seem to have been adhering to my eyelid perfectly without a glitter glue, which honestly is what I personally look for in a glitter eyeshadow. Um, a wear test will tell us how well it holds up on the eyes, but we will get there in a little bit. Okay, I feel like that dark brown really did add quite a bit of dimension, which I love. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and wipe away any fallout under the eyes, which there is a bit of glitter, but honestly not as much as some other glitter shadows I've used. And there's almost no fallout with the matte shades, which is amazing. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and tap out the edge here. I always like to do that with my finger just to make sure we get the shape, but it's not like this harsh line. So a little trick that I do and something that I've noticed helps when you're wearing glittery eyeshadow like this is to apply mascara at this point in your makeup. Sometimes I will go and do the rest of my face and then do mascara, but I feel like when you apply mascara after glitter on the eyes, it just kind of helps to catch any falling glitter so it doesn't land on your face. I'm gonna go ahead and apply mascara. Okay, now that we have mascara on the top lashes, 
I'm taking the brush that we used with the matte poet shade and again I'm just kind of raising up the pink color a bit higher I'm being very gentle though not to brush away any of the glitter I just feel like it could be raised a bit since I want this video to be you know focused on this palette I'm gonna go ahead and speed through my complexion products really quickly I will have everything else listed and linked down below if you want to know exactly what I'm using on my face but yeah I'm gonna do my base and then we'll come back and finish up the lower lash line Okay, so I'm back. I did primer, foundation, concealer, powder, and I even did a little bit of cream contouring underneath. We're gonna go ahead and do the lower lash line now. I'm gonna start off with a smaller brush. I'm gonna start with the matte shade of Poet. Oh my gosh, I just realized I haven't been using the massive mirror from the palette this whole time. Literally, this mirror is amazing. I'm going on vacation soon, and I just feel like this is going to be perfect to travel with. Okay, so I just did that line. I'm gonna go ahead and take a clean brush and I'm gonna use that to buff it out to kind of create a little bit of a gradient on the lower lash line. I love this purple color, it's so beautiful. And as always, I like to make sure to connect the existing shadows with the lower lash line right here on this corner. All right, I'm gonna do the same thing on this eye, making sure that this goes right up against the lash line. And then again, I'm taking that brush that we used to buff it out and I'm just gonna buff this a little bit lower and just make sure it looks nice and diffused as it moves toward the under eye area. All right, we're gonna take another brush. Again, it's gonna be pretty small and I'm gonna go into the matte shade of Soothe. I'm gonna tap off the extra, these are way pigmented. And I'm gonna use this to kind of start to buff out the under eye area further. So I'm starting with this color on the edge here and then I'm moving it inward and just buffing it down, kind of creating a transition shade for the lower lash line. And same thing when you get to the edges, I'm just making sure to blend that into the existing shadows just so that there's no harsh lines anywhere and everything looks like it's supposed to be there. Oh my gosh, I am dying over this eye look. I think it's so pretty. I'm gonna go ahead and brighten up the waterline using the Wet n Wild Ultimate Brow Highlighter. I'm just gonna scribble that on the waterline. Okay, let's go ahead and dip into the Metallic Poet shade. I don't want any fallout, so I'm just gonna take this on a brush and then I'm gonna spray my brush with a little bit of Fix Plus and I'm going to apply that on the lower lash line up against the lashes, starting in the center and then kind of moving it toward the inner corner and blending it toward the outer corner as well. Oh my gosh, you guys, when this metallic feels and looks amazing when you spray it with some setting spray, are you kidding me? Next, I'm gonna go ahead and dip into this shade right here called Aura, I just honestly feel like this is gonna be the most amazing inner corner highlight. Let's see how it looks. I'm gonna go ahead and pop this in the inner corner. Oh my gosh. <gasps> oh my gosh, that is beautiful. And like, I'm not joking, you guys. This is such a beautiful shade for the inner corner. I love it because there's a little bit of a champagne tone to it, but there's like the slightest bit of pink almost, which is what I always look for in an inner corner highlight. All right, you guys probably already could have guessed if you've watched my videos recently, I'm gonna drag this up and kind of a scoopity boopity around the eye like that. I just have been loving to do this. I feel like it really helps shape out my eyes and it adds something really special to the look. I mean, the look is already very special with the glitters, but I have just really been enjoying highlighting the inner crease here. So I'm just gonna do the same thing. I'm just dragging that color. And I like to keep the intensity in the inner corner and then as I move up the eye, it starts to fade a little bit. That's the goal anyway. Oh my gosh, yes, I love that. All right, I'm gonna take that same shade and I'm going to drag it in this inner corner here. And I'm purposefully kind of blending it in with that purple shade, just again, so that we have a nice soft gradient moving into these purple tones on the lower lash line. I'm taking the brush that we used with the Metallic Poet shade, and I'm just blending that down a little bit further than where I had it initially. I'm gonna take that same brush and I'm gonna dip into Ritual, which if you guys remember, we used this on the top lid to kind of deepen things up. I'm gonna do the same thing on the lower lash line, just taking the tiniest bit and I'm kind of scribbling it right here on the outer third, right up against the lash line and then blending what's extra out into the abyss here. <laughs> I'm debating whether or not I should put glitter on the lower lash line, maybe just a tiny bit. Maybe. I'm gonna try it out on a brush. I haven't done this yet. Um, I'm gonna dip into the Aura shade right here. And I'm just gonna take that on a little brush and I'm gonna tap off the extra. And I don't want a full on opaque glitter on the lower lash line. So I'm just going to press that 
just right here. Yeah, I think that's really pretty. If we get any fallout today, it's probably gonna be from this glitter right here on the lower lash line, but that's okay. I'm risking it because I just am obsessed with this glitter. Okay, I'm gonna take the brush that I used to apply powder and I'm just gonna sweep away any fallout and let's go ahead and apply mascara on the lower lashes. Okay, you guys, the eye look is complete. I'm gonna go ahead and speed through um, bronzer, blush, highlighter, and a lip color. Again, that will be listed and linked down below if you wanna know what I end up putting on. And then we'll do our wear test, so I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, so I just finished up the rest of my makeup. I'm obsessed with how this turned out. I cannot get over how beautiful the eye look is. So now all that's left is just doing a wear test. I will tell you guys though, off of my first impression without doing the wear test yet, I'm so in love with this and I'm so excited to keep using it. I already want to play with the other rows because we really only stayed on this side of the palette. There are so many other things that I could create with this and my wheels are turning. I'm feeling so inspired and I just love this look. Oh, I think I forgot to highlight my brow bone. So I'm gonna take this matte shade from Aura and I'm just gonna pop that right underneath the brow. I was originally gonna put some shimmer up there, but I actually think it's kind of nice to just keep it matte since we have so much glitter going on on the lid. I'm just gonna take a clean brush and kind of buff that together because I kind of brought it down a little further than I wanted to. Okay, yeah, I love that. All right, let's do our wear test. It is currently 2.44 in the afternoon, so almost three o'clock. I'm gonna be wearing this for as long as possible. Of course, what we are checking most for is probably the glitter fallout. Guys, have I shown you my new phone case? <laughs> This shows you how much I love glitter. In fact, this looks so much like the Aura glitter shade in the palette. So yeah, this is just totally my vibe. All right, let's do our wear test. I will see you guys in a little bit for my first check-in. Okay, so you guys know I love to do my very first check-in right in front of the window in natural light right after filming. Now, I know this is just about the eyeshadow, so that's what we're gonna be focusing on, but I did think it'd be kind of fun to show you what it looks like in natural light right now. I love this look. So far, so good. There's a little bit of pieces of glitter on the cheeks, but honestly, I feel like it's because I put some on the lower lash line. My bad. Probably shouldn't have done that, but that's okay. You can never have too much glitter, so this is what things look like right now. I'm gonna go show my husband and see what he thinks, and I will see you guys in my next check-in. Hi, guys. So it's currently 6.22 p.m., which means I've been wearing this for about three hours, but I saw how beautiful the eyeshadow looks underneath my um, kitchen lights. I'm sitting at the bar stools right now, but like I wanted to show you how beautiful it is. So far, I'm not really noticing much fallout at all. There's a couple pieces that have fallen down, but nothing major. I mean, I'm not expecting no fallout from a glitter eyeshadow, but honestly, this looks really nice so far. Also, something my husband pointed out, this has not creased one bit. Like there's zero creasing on the lids. I don't know if you can see that. I can't look at myself and show you my eyelids. <laughs> But that's like insane, especially for my eye shape. I usually crease with any sort of eyeshadow, so I'm really impressed so far, and I'm obsessed with how it glistens in lower light. I'm just sitting here eating dinner. We made some salads tonight. Um, I don't think I've ever told you guys on our channel, we actually have a new food kind of platform. It's called The Best Keto. I will have it linked down below. It's on Instagram, and we have a website. We just share a bunch of our salads that we make, so Hi, if you guys wanna check out those salads. Wait, close your eyes. Okay. Something I always look for when I look at Ali's makeup <laughs> is her cute little crease yeah, on her eye. Yeah, I know. She has, a, well, like a fold. I and have a fold. Glitter, even like the best glitters I've noticed will still crease just because of that fold. Oh, but yeah. it hasn't folded. No, yet. not at all. I know, it's wild. So it that's so it. Good. I'm obsessed. I'm loving my entire makeup look, my whole vibe today. And yeah, so I'll see you guys in a little bit for my final check-in. All right, you guys, I am back in the studio. It is currently 10.22 p.m. So that means I've been wearing this makeup for a little bit over seven hours. Let's chat about the eyeshadow. I think it's no secret that I have absolutely loved my makeup look today. I felt so beautiful and the glitters have been so incredibly impressive. I was so impressed with all the formulas that I tried out today, but the glitters especially are out of this world. You can see they still have not creased or budged on my eyes. There has been a tiny bit of fallout I'm seeing a lot more now right here underneath the eyes, but again, it's a full-on glitter shade And for how much glitter I put on the eyes, I'm really impressed with how little fallout there was I purposefully left it on the face I don't know if you can even see it on camera, but I wanted to leave it on the face just to test something out I wanted to see what would happen if say, you know This was just a normal day and I wasn't doing a review and I just took a brush and tried to dust away the glitter 
that actually works really nicely. So the few pieces that did fall down, it is not a deal breaker for me. You can easily just dust those away if they do fall down under the eyes. But again, I've been wearing this for a solid seven hours and I'm so incredibly impressed. I mean, just look at the eyeshadow. I'm blown away by this palette, you guys. If you've been planning on picking up this palette, which I know so many of you guys have been, I've seen your messages in my DMs when I unbox this that you guys are also as equally excited about this palette as I am. I'm here to tell you that you will not be disappointed I feel like this will be money well spent. The quality of these shadows are absolutely beautiful. I feel like it's something that actually adds to my collection. I'm so impressed by everything. I'm not just saying that. I'm really, truly impressed by this palette, you guys. I already know it's gonna be one that's sitting right here front and center on my desk. I'm gonna be reaching for it all the time. Let me know if you guys would like to see more looks with this. I would love to show you how I would create like an everyday look out of this palette or even something still glamorous but using some of these more neutral warm tones. So let me know if you guys would like to see more with this palette, especially if a lot of you guys are going to be picking it up, I think it would be fun to create a couple more looks with this. Wow, you guys, this was such a fun video for me to film. I just want to say congrats to Tati and also thank you so much to Tati for sending me this palette. I seriously am so honored. I have been someone who's been such a fan of and so inspired by Tati for years now. I just love her personality. I love her honesty and I love how much love she puts into all of her brands from Halo Beauty and now into Tati Beauty. All of her hard work really shows and I'm just truly grateful that I even received this in the mail and I'm so excited to see what else she launches within the Tati Beauty line. I just feel like every single thing she's gonna bring to the table is going to be awesome and this is an amazing way to start the brand. I'm so excited about it and I am an immediate fan of Tati Beauty. This is incredible. If you're new here, hi, my name is Ali, and I would love for you to join the family. You can do so by hitting the subscribe button and if you're already a subscriber but you wanna be notified on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays, at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Click on the bell after you subscribe and you'll get a notification every single time I upload a video. I can't stop staring at my eyes in the monitor. I honestly don't even wanna wash off my makeup. I have loved it that much today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful. Be sure to leave a comment down below letting me know what other videos you would like to see from me and also let me know what your initial thoughts were on this Tati Beauty Textured Neutrals Volume 1 palette. So yeah, I hope you guys have an amazing day wherever you are and I will see you in my next video. Love you. Bye.